Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Sepulla and you are watching Seval engineer side YouTube channel So friends during casting concrete when you receive concrete at site at that time you take some concrete cylinders specimens for crushing strength or compressive strength test for the laboratory and the laboratory they perform testing after seven days and then after 28 days and as per the result they prepare a report test report and you receive that report itself so how you will check that report how you will verify that report with specification and how you will know that that report of the compressive strength is passed or failed so in this video we will discuss this topic in detail so watch the video from start till the end because this is a very important video for all QC engineers and site engineers so let's start the video this is the just heading test report company name compressive strength of cylindrical concrete specimen as per ASTM C39 C39 M-20 so you have to know that according to which code we are performing compressive strength test for cylindrical concrete specimens project name client location test location factory test apparatus which apparatus we are using to check the compressive strength is compression machine uh, metrist and okay temperature of the concrete at that time tested by date report 16 February date of cost of concrete 19 January date of received 20 January date of test 16 February so now this is the main section sample sample name b1 b2 b3 b for which area we use this specimen beam and slab at terminal 1 this is the terminal uh, location itself length of the cylinders dimension and area mass of the cylinders now unit mass of the cylinder and there is a, the test performed for this specimen after 28 days so the result which today i am going to show you is this result is for 28 days after 28 days so let me highlight so you will see it clearly now here you can see test load applied on the specimen 677 kilo newton 642 kilo newton 685 kilo newton now this is the compressive strength so here we will check in mpa the first specimen or the first sample strength after 28 days is 38.3 mpa the second specimen 36.3 mpa the third specimen 38.8 mpa so guys you can see here the result the compressive strength of the three specimen after 28 days 38.3 36.3 38.8 the required le uh, strength of the concrete after 28 days is 35 35 mpa and here you can see which type of fracture occurred on the failure type 3 type 4 type 2 so i'll i will also discuss this that what is the meaning of type 3 uh, fracture type 4 fracture fracture type 2 fracture and some uh, laboratories they also call it failure some call it, they call it defect so it depends on the laboratory but this is the main thing this is the length of the specimen other samples dimension uh, length diameter and area mass unit mass now the for you the most important is days that how many days they perform the test after so you can see after 28 days they perform the test for these three specimen or sample and they applied these loads on the samples and the strength of the three sample is 38.3 36.3 38.3 and the average strength is 37.8 so it means that the test is passed 
because the required strength is 35 uh, MPa and here we get the strength is 37.8 uh, MPa. So now let's go to discuss the types of fracture. Here you can see now in the remarks type 1 less than 1 inch of cracking through caps. So it will called type 1 type 2 vertical crack running through caps type 3 colonial vertical cracking through both ends type 4 diagonal fracture with no cracking through ends type 5 side fracture at top or bottom type 6 similar to type 5 but end of cylinder is pointed types of fracture astmc 39 so here you can see this is a scanned pdf copy so maybe it, you, you can't see it bitterly but in the results you they will also provide uh, kinds of types of fracture so here you can see type 1 this is type 1 fracture type 1 fracture they say 1 inch of cracking through caps type 2 fracture this is the type 2 fracture vertical cracks running through the caps this is type 3 fracture type 4 fracture type 5 fracture and type 6 fracture so now additional information depicts occurred in specimen during crushing another information which is required for the report ACC to ASTM already mentioned in the report result expressed as strength is 0.1 MPa and density is 10 kilogram per centimeter square okay so now this is just the general information now here you can see they will also tell you about the concrete mix design was c35 mpa it means that after 28 days the compressor strength of the concrete should be 35 mpa so type you type of cement used for the concrete is src sulfate resistant cement or type pipe cement cement content was 410 kg per cubic meter specimen after seven days strength was 26.5 MPa and space specimen 28 days strength is 35 MPa. So guys you can see the average and individual compression strength of tested concrete specimen comply with the project specification and fast. So this was the test result for the compressive strength of concrete. So if you have any question regarding this video you can ask in the comment section and you can also contact me through my social network for more queries. So please friends if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our YouTube channel like the video and share it with your friend. Thank you so much for watching the video and 